day, um, yesterday with a massive storm, and um, yeah, well, we're just, I think still three meters well. Um, so it was uh, with the light winds, there's quite a lot happening in the sail and on the boat, uh, a lot of rocking going on, and uh, just by the, the wind changes. And um, besides that, it was really hard to see actually pressure differences on the water. So it's just playing a lot of feet, and uh, yeah, absolutely, it was uh, quite hard conditions out there. Lake Bolton, so since September we haven't raced, and in New Zealand uh, we've been training for three and a half months or three months. Um, well, it's been really good. Uh, I think the speed today showed it was quite fast, and especially in downwind. Um, but yeah, I was actually quite happy to have two decent start or two really good starts off the line, and just uh, the racing, or still got the racing skills, so I was happy with it. Now in New Zealand, and, and we're working really closely together. So, for Andy, he's learned a bit from me from the last campaign, and for me, it's great to have someone that's so close and so competitive to train with. So, you know, we're looking forward to having a good European season, and hopefully, it works well. Yeah, I mean, it was great to get back into a big fleet um, over the summer. Like Josh said, he's actually, he's actually taught me a heap and really fast tracked my development in the class. So, I've got a lot to pay to Josh, you know, to get me in those positions on my first day of racing in the fin fleet. So yeah, no, I think we're both going quick enough out there, so it's just about starting well and getting back into big fleet sort of tackle. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to sailing in a bit of everything and seeing how I go with the free pumping and all that side of the boat as well. So um, yeah, I think we're both just looking forward to actually getting out there. It's been a pretty long build up with new boats and stuff, getting them ready. So yeah, we're just looking forward to racing. Actually, it was a tricky day. Very light winds and big waves. The waves are much bigger than the wind. I had a wonderful start. I was leading by miles uh, on the left-hand side of the course. And uh, I don't know what happened, 50 meters before the top mark. I, I suddenly lost uh, all the, the lead I had. And uh, then I managed to survive and uh, I finished in the fourth position. So it's not too bad for a tricky day like that. 